I started collecting probably 1980, you know, 89 or 88. And then it was the beginning of me starting to like understand the old boards were pretty good, like really good. I think there's just something cool about the way they rode. So this one's 710, and the wide point's way back. And I mean way back by like eight inches back from center. I like the hips back just because I'm trying to turn more. Some guys like the wide point forward. I don't like the wide point forward unless I'm riding the two. For like California points, you know what I mean? Like blacks and California points, clean waves, you know, a little, little, I would say in the range of like three feet to six feet. You know, anything mm -hmm. above that, you're kind of going to be holding on for your life. The boat, the boat you can ride in whatever you're, you're <laughs> whatever you're comfortable. If you want to get manly and go out and eat shit on a bunch of waves, you can do that when it's big, or if you're just kind of like trying to cut through the slop. I don't know, I rode that board everywhere. I took that thing all over the place. It looks like hell, but it rides great. This one was shaped by Hoy Reynolds, who uh, works for Rusty. We used to GNS back in the day. It's a copy of this. This is a seven, I think seven, eight. Uh, Bill Barnfield lightning bolt. The lightning bolt I got from uh, Jerry's house. I was staying there and they needed me to clean some shit out from underneath the house because all the sand had piled up from the waves washing through. And I was digging through it and that was in the bottom of the sand pile, like about five feet under. The, the board's this big sometimes, in, in it, unless it's like pipeline or some shit, which is for me is a couple months out of the year. It's hard to fit that big of a gun into a curve of say like a big rock. I kind of got to shrink my boards down a little bit to be under seven feet to actually fit the curve. And then this one's a 6'4", shaped by Steve Henson, which is a, a rendition of this 6'10", Sean Thompson. But, you know, it's not like it's the same board. You change the boards. You just take the actual outline. The outlines are beautiful. But you have all this other stuff, you know, uh, you know, another 40 years of construction and design and different things that you can add to it. It's not like you're changing the initial shape of it too much. It's just taking some of the extremities out of it. In that time of, you know, 70s, 80s, where longboarding wasn't really coming around, there were a lot of eggs still being made, PNS, fry, a lot of people made a lot of stuff, cool stuff. And, you know, the egg design kind of, it'll never go old. For the most part, I kind of stay on these three right here. Because if the waves get big, I jump on single fins. If it's not, I'm riding a longboard, and in between, I'm probably on like an A or a mid length or something. Surfing's in a brilliant spot where you can actually ride whatever you want. So there's no real kind of stigma. Look what people are doing on soft tops, you know? It's like, come on, anything works. I mean, you really can ride anything, depending on like your conditions and anything works.